Schools in North Carolina are closed until at least March 30th, and many teachers in Wake County have reached out concerned about what they're supposed to do if they want to get paid. CBS 17's Holden Kawiki joins us now live outside the Wake County School Central Service Building where he's been getting answers. Holden, what can you tell us? Well, Mars, teachers have received multiple emails from the district, and each seems to say something a little bit different from the last, seemingly contradictory to the previous email. Now, there have been calls to move classes online, but the school board chairman says that's not realistic. It is definitely weird. This has never happened before. On a typical day, Reedy Creek Elementary School is full with hundreds of kids and teachers. But thanks to coronavirus, the only noise you can hear outside isn't the bell, but the birds. I came in real quick just to grab my um, laptop, and there was no one else here. I just came in, got it, waved to my administrator through the window, and then left. While state leaders have touted the possibility of teachers teleworking from home, an email from Wake County Schools says teachers should not prepare plans for at-home work and that no projects and activities would be assigned. This is considered a break at this point. The district has not pushed out any professional development uh, uh, at, at this particular point. School Board Chair Keith Sutton considers it a break, but the district 20,000 employees received an email from Assistant Superintendent Anthony Motillo saying they must telework or make up the missed time. We just have to fill out a log of what we're doing um, each hour. I don't think that they need to be, you know, filling that out. Uh, uh, everybody is going to get paid uh, uh, th through the month of March. Sutton says he expects Wake County Schools to be out past March 30th, but it's unclear what will happen without a clear plan from the state, and that leaves teachers in limbo. Teachers are planners, so so to not know the plan and kind of go day by day is definitely tough. Now, I was able to confirm that there have been preliminary discussions about opening some Wake County schools as daycare centers, but I'm told that is in the very early stages. And at this time, it's only being discussed that they would accept the children of frontline responders, such as police, firefighters, and medical professionals. Live in Cary, Holden Kerwicki, CBS 17 News.